Hey guys and occasional girls, my name is Grrvacher and this is Xenoclash. Yes, Xenoclash is an indie game, so I would feel bad for bashing it too hard, but Jesus Christ. To be fair, that was the first game Ace made, and their second game is Rock of Ages, which is a ton of fun! But Xenoclash, man, there is no reason to go through story gameplay thing. There are three good things in this game and everything else is a sick dream of a schizophrenic. There are so many things wrong with everything, I don't even know where to start. So I'm just gonna ramble for a while. Enjoy. Till the very end you have the impression that the world around you has certain structure. There are father mother creatures that give birth to all those monstrosities and the whole society is divided by families that these creatures produce. The city is huge so you think there are a lot of them even though you see only one. The main character named Geat kills his father mother because he found out a terrible secret that he doesn't want to tell anyone. And that is the first good thing, a terrible secret is revealed in the end so you wanna know what it is and the only way is to finish the bloody game. So after murdering his parent, Get runs away from the city accompanied by his sister, which he has kinda close relationships with, this twisted asshole. But his sister doesn't seem to mind because she has only one emotion all the time. It appears that her voice actress was asleep a minute ago and somebody just hit her on the head with a microphone and asked to read a few lines. But why would he do that? Why not? Watch out! They go into the woods where insane people live, which get meant to live with in the past for whatever reason. And one of those things taught him how to fight before committing suicide by sucking on a skull bomb. Then you have reached perfection. <laughs> and then he killed himself. So he knows them all by name and they are the only thing that makes sense in this universe because they are insane and do crazy shit because they are insane. One of them was Erminia. Erminia peed on herself and starved to death anonymously. And that is what Erminia did. There was also Gabel. Gabel ate people and that's just what he had to do. There was also Helm. Helm needed to be invisible, so he removed the eyes from anything that could see him. But they are not unique, which is stupid. There are like three or four types of these creatures that you meet throughout the game over and over again. How does that make any sense? After that we enter a desert and assaulted by a blind sniper mercenary thing that has exceptional hearing powers but when we fight it it can't hear your footsteps or gunshots, it just throws exploding squirrels at you and I must say that is funny so here goes the second good thing about the game. And right away there is the last good thing about Xenoclash, this dark area. Look at it, after all the previous nonsense I felt so cozy and comfortable here I didn't wanna leave. It is beautiful and best of all familiar, but unfortunately pretty soon we meet this guy who calls himself Golem and knows everything about everyone, even though he's been turned off for centuries. He offers his help to turn things right and follows our heroes back to the city they came from. And we arrive only to find out that Father Mother is alive. <coughs> oh yeah, the first time Get shoved a skull bomb in his face which exploded while he was holding it, which left his hand unhurt but injured Father Mother somehow. <coughs> so we defeat Father Mother again with some help from the magical golem, and while Get still doesn't want to tell the secret, golem says fuck that, so here it is. Mm -hmm. 
In time, I can prove this to each one of you and show you your real families. There are things bigger than Halston and things bigger even than Xenozoid. This too I will show you. That is the secret. Hey Steve, do you realize that you just butt fucked your own game? If Father Mother was a fraud, that means people are born normally in this world. So nobody ever questioned this Father Mother nonsense. And people whose kids got stolen and replaced, did they just accept it? Actually, they did. Hi there. That's a really nice pig you have there. Pig? No, it's not a pig. Or at least not just a pig. This is my son, Gosni. Some months ago, I was surprised too, when I saw my little boy look like a pig. I've never heard about that. It's never happened where I live. It took me a little time to get used to, but now everything's fine. Isn't that right, Gosni, my little boy? <laughs> Do I have to explain anything else? Do I have to explain how stupid that is? Okay, if there is one crazy lady which thought that a child becoming a pig is just a natural part of growing up, but that thing stole a lot of kids! Is everybody retarded in this universe? In that case, Cat must be the king of retards, because what was the point of not telling everybody the secret? It was the most reasonable thing to do. It's not even that horrible, and would allow children to reunite with their real parents, while killing father mother and keeping a secret accomplishes absolutely nothing! Fuck! Do you like things that don't make sense? We got more! Hunting. Pointless mechanic that keeps you in a small area that you're not allowed to leave. That desert thing just pissed me off! If you go just a little bit outside your ship pen, you're attacked by worms! Hunting doesn't add anything, there is no skill involved, you just find that rabbit thing and shoot it till it's dead. And levels, holy shit. Okay, I understand small arenas where you fight, even though it's just a circle all the time. But what's the point of these corridor shooting galleries? They are boring and tedious. Look at that fucking fence that you can't pass. Look at it. I don't even have to jump to get over it, but Cat can jump at all and can't walk over it till his sister opens a gate for him. Also, explain this to me. Why are these creatures trying to zerg me after killing like 50 of them? And if they are brainless animals, you might say, there are also these sand people that attack you with rocks over and over again while you shoot dozens of them with a gun. Speaking of pointless genocide. And speaking of guns, why are they in the game? They break combat completely, 80% of the fights have someone with a gun, so most fights turn into charging a person with a gun, picking it up and shooting everyone. While the game has high emphasis on melee combat. When you fight bosses for instance, you have to engage them in melee in the end to trigger a cutscene, because the game expects you to find them in melee, even though it's much more effective just to shoot them. Look at these guns by the way, there are two of them that I have massive problems with. First one is a crossbow thingy that shoots tiny heads, which is fun, but you see, when you have a gun you have unlimited ammo by default, and while all other guns use rocks, I think, where the hell does he get all those tiny heads? Does he pull them out of his ass? Are those his sister's unborn fetus heads? We'll never know, but funny thing, everybody who uses a crossbow has an extensive amount of tiny heads. <laughs> Second of all, this rifle. Look how you reload it. Isn't it weird and stupid? Why does he use a metal wire to close it? What's the point? Every time you want to reload, you gotta put a piece of wire into a tiny hole in the back of the gun. <laughs> Try this at home. It is very hard to do and in the middle of the fight it's freaking impossible. Use your hands, numb nut. And look at the size of this gun. What the hell is this? Why is it there? I think it actually makes aiming even more annoying and you can brag all you want about artistic vision and shit. But there are things that would never exist because no matter what a twisted creature you are, you don't make your life more inconvenient just cause. So take this wire off, you single cell imbecile. 
If you think hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game is good, you are wrong. It is unintuitive, poorly animated and worst of all doesn't have impact. Do you know why first-person melee combat sucks in most games? Because there is no way to tell the distance between you and the enemy. Look at that, I'm swinging wildly in front of them and yet I somehow hit them. The developers really thought that the game was gonna be played the way it was intended to. But what gamer does that? Half of the challenge is to figure out the most efficient solution to the problem. And I found my ultimate combo that defeats every enemy if there are no guns around. Backtrack, strong punch, kick while he's down. It works every time, even on bosses. There is no reason to use anything else. Strong punch sends flying everything, even if an enemy is blocking. It is an ultimate move, which makes one-on-one -on -one fights a walk in the park. By the way, I hope you enjoy Bruce Lee style punch sound effects, because it is what you are getting. While we are at it, listen to these pistols. No comments. And aesthetics. I know it is a personal thing, but all the visuals are just disturbing. The only place I felt comfortable in is the dark, horrible creature zone. Everything else is like being inside of one of the Salvador Dali's paintings. And even if you like his work, tell me honestly, do you want to live inside his paintings? Of course not! The whole experience was very unpleasant. I don't even understand what look they were going for. Cute, weird, was it supposed to make me hate it? Somebody explain it to me, please. Finally, the game has no resolution. It has a massive cliffhanger instead of a proper ending. And I know there will be Xenoclash too, but fuck that game. Xenoclash is a prime example of a pretentious indie bullshit, where the game is sold only by its aesthetics and the failure in everything else. And again, you can shove your artistic vision nonsense up your ass. Aesthetics should be a part of the game adding to the gameplay and not a sole feature of the game. There are a lot of games that do it well, and you don't even have to go far for an example because the same studio made Rock of Ages, which has a great gameplay and visuals only make the experience even more fun. Well, I guess you can't do everything right on your first attempt. So give Xenoclash a mess and play Rock of Ages instead. That is my advice. The name's Gurvacher and I shall see you from within my next video. Goodbye, goodbye, see you.